Hello again, everyone. Today, July 11th, is the day in the liturgical calendar where we commemorate St. Benedict of Nursia, who is considered to be the great organizer and founder and rule writer for monastic communities in, the, in Catholic Europe dating back to the 500s. But on this particular July 11th, as the whole church remembers the holy man Benedict, we, the community of St. Camillus, remember and commemorate the holy man, Brother Chris, as we send him and commend him back to the Lord today. It is a difficult day. And it's a day that I think is marked by a kind of poignant tension between sadness, but sadness softened by hope in the resurrection. And that hope in the resurrection will hopefully lead us eventually to rejoicing in that our friend, our brother, and our pastor has gone home to the God whom he loved so, so very deeply. A God whose face he was able to see when he looked into our faces any time he spoke with us. And as he takes his place among the saints, as he joins the heavenly banquet, if I may, I think he would want us to know that he's saving seats for us when the time comes. Thankfully, today we have a very, very rich mixture of scriptures to guide us and accompany us through this day. From the funeral liturgy itself, we hear from the Book of Wisdom, which says that those who trust in God will understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love. The Gospel passage today from the funeral is one that I think we're mostly familiar with. It's from the Gospel of St. John. Do not let, yourself, let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God, and have faith in me. In my Father's house there are many mansions, and I go to prepare a place for you. It's a passage where Jesus is providing comforting, comforting words to his disciples before he goes off to the Father. The readings for, for the liturgy of the day also um, are very powerful in speaking to us today. And I think they kind of remind us that, well, Brother Chris passed this way before us. We hear the passage from the prophet Isaiah, where Isaiah is actually receiving his call from God to become a, a prophet. And it's a passage we all know because we sing it a lot. But he says, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, Lord, I said, send me. It's no surprise, but I think for us, it is a great blessing for us to know that Chris said, here I am, Lord, send me. He said that a long time ago, and he said it every day. But we also need to remember that as he always answered the call. He also always called us to do the same thing and challenged us to give the same response when we hear the voice of the Lord calling us to serve, that we should too say, Here I am, Lord, send me. In the Gospel today, it's a passage from St. Matthew, and in this passage, Jesus tells us, Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without the Father knowing it. Even all the hairs on your head are counted, so do not be afraid. You are worth many sparrows. That's good to know. But it is comforting. We rest through our daily lives in God's care. And Brother Chris sits at the right hand of the Lord forever in his care. 
And so even if it may be through moist eyes today, let us rejoice that we've been blessed so richly to have had Brother Chris as our friend and our pastor and to have all of the friars with us, really. And let's remember that we as the community of St. Camillus are called every day to be the church and to serve the church in the eyes and the faces of all around us. And to Brother Chris we say, rest in the Lord, brother. Well done, good and faithful servant. Thank you for everything you have been to us. My sisters and brothers, may the Lord give us his peace.